and it's no it just ain't enough to just say forget it I just ain't gonna partake I ain't gonna vote in it and then all you do instead of all that is that you just go and retreat to football or retreat to sports movies or some silly church somewhere that's going to be folding up like a tent in a minute. In a minute. And, 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 and the brainwashers are telling you you're in a no-spin zone every night and just arguing and debating just to get your emotions stirred up right. to buy another book that they're promoting oh, or to buy some city uh, uh, gear from uh, their, 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 their online store. Right. It, it's, it's one way that the devil is using people. That he's dividing and conquering. He just keeps segmenting people off into these little schisms and, and factions. So you, that's why you end up with Republicans versus Democrats, black versus white. But Jesus says he's not, he's not coming to bring peace to the earth. He's coming to bring a sword. He's going to bring this sword down, right down the middle, split it, and somebody has to choose between right and wrong. And that's what the depiction of, of Malachi is at the end of the Old Testament, where he found he's dealing with, with a, a harlot church that... They're, they're proud. They keep saying, God well, God will tell them point blank what your problem is. And they'll say, no, God, that's not right. That's not so. No, that. And finally, he says, all right, look, he gets uh, people out of there that, that really turn to him. And, and those people, his people, will know the difference between right and wrong and, and be able to discern and to judge, basically, what's right, who's serving God and who ain't serving God. And we got to come to that now because most of you in a church, you know that it just don't carry no weight. It's time to back out. Especially you guys. Yeah. I keep working on guys, but listen, man, come on. Come on. The maximum potential that God has is Joel Osteen, mm -mm. Robert Schuller. I mean, the Bible says you're ever learning, never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. There's always being preached at and talking all day. Aren't you, man, as a guy, I'm talking about right. just a regular, everyday Joe Blow guy. Right. The regular, uh, Sarah Palin's Joe Six Pack or whatever. Right. Man, you keep going to see these spiritual sissies. Right. Tell you this garbage every Sunday, and you know you're getting sick to your stomach even right. looking at it. You're just there to be with your wife. And the last thing you need to do is to go following after somebody like some one of these stars like Tony Romo or T.O. Uh, Terrell Owens that are talking about all this God and God blesses us and they're going to church every Sunday and they're, they're playing football for the glory of God and all. That's a bunch of garbage because that God couldn't care less about a stupid football game on Sunday and who wins. At a time like this. At the end of the age. And, and you got and Tony Romo is shacking up with Jessica Simpson and they're, just, and they're going to church on Sundays. So what I'm saying is, it's time for a guy to come out of there, get into the fight. This is a military thing. It's not a militant thing. Right. It's a military thing. We're here to fight unclean spirits and their leader, Satan, right. who is bringing, bringing havoc down on you. Look at the stress you're under, under on your job. Look at the stress in your home because your teenage kid is going mm -hmm. crazy. Look at the stress you're under because your wife keeps running her trap at you, trying to get you to live up or down to her standards, and you're tired, man. Right. You are tired. And it's all just make-believe. It's all just been set up by, by Satan to just keep us all basically subdued and enslaved, and nobody questions. We just go with the flow, basically, yes, dear. That's about what it boils down to. Yes. Try, trying to keep the peace, trying not yeah. to rock the boat, or trying to get a little sex tonight. I mean, when Man. you think about a Salvation Army, that's why we, we talk in militaristic terms, because this is a war. You have, to, you, have to have a, you have to fight in a war. There's battles, and there's war. There's war. This is, this is going, to be, it's going to be ugly. So, so you know, the, the foundation of the bedrock of this is a million good guys. A million of you guys who will come on board and say, look, as for me, I'm in. What must I do to win this warfare? If you care about your wife and your kids, if you care about uh, life uh, as God gave it to us, you come out of this foolishness called religion right. and come into the church of Jesus Christ right. and get up under the, the tutelage and the headship of Jesus Christ and fight. Right. See, the one thing that's been uh, uh, misunderstood is this. These guys in these old uh, churches that they've set up to control folks 
have made everybody submit to them. Now, how do you look as a man cowing down under another man? Right. It's like the bald headed guy with the two loop earrings in front of <laughs> in front of John right. McCain the other day begging him. I'm begging you, sir. Black guy standing there. I'm begging you, sir. I'm begging you. Take the fight to him, sir. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Uh, and then he looks at uh, Sarah Palin. God bless the Barracuda. God bless. I want to reach through the TV screen, screen grab him by his bald head, and punch his lights out. Look, so I'm a Christian fella, you should, look. Somebody might need to be getting slapped here pretty soon. I mean, look, let's get some good old-fashioned testosterone and a good healthy set of balls, man. That's all that God is looking for. Right. This real is, guy. Yeah, the real guy. That's the two-fisted guy. guy. This guy sitting up in there, and I guarantee you whether you were black or white, that guy turned your stomach if you were a man. What kind of guy, uh, this is something I really want to know, what kind of guy actually shaves his head? I mean, that takes the time. It's bad enough to shave your face, you know? I mean, do you shave your legs too? But, I'm, you know, what, what do you do? You let the lather up your head and sit there with your head full of lather and actually just shave your head. And then, and then after you're done shaving, you put earrings in your ear. I'm going to puke. <laughs> this is bad. I have been Mr. Clean. He's got an earring. And you know, the earring historically is a sign of slavery. That's it right there, man. It's the mark of slavery in ancient yeah. Rome. They put they pierced the ears and put an earring in there to show that, show that you were under another man's ownership. You were, It's a sign of being enslaved. Look at old movies like uh, The Robe and uh, The Gladiator uh, starring Victor Mature. You'll always see Victor Mature wearing an earring because he was a slave. He was a slave of uh, Richard Burton in The Robe. See, this is a sign of slavery. And the guy, the, look, what are we doing? What are we doing? If I could just get a, a, about ten guys. You know what I'm saying? Know, to march out as a Salvation Army, we can see some results down here. Because we've seen enough guys come through here that you know that they come on, they come on fire. You know, they get they get lit up because they know people know when they hear the truth. You know when it's true, but you still got to deal with that that basically that that spirit that has transferred into you from your wife in most cases. Or your mother. Or your mother. Or your girlfriend. That matriarchal spirit that wants you to shackled up and under its dominion and under its control. When it comes to that when you gotta turn against that thing, most guys just hit they the door. They hit they the door. See it happened with uh Alan Alda and Phil Donahue back in the seventies. The new sensitive male. Mm -hmm. That the women you know, women were just uh, or an orgasmic pleasure about this new sensitive male right. who was now feminine that they could dominate and control. What kind of... What, now, just think about it logically. Your feminine side? If I'm a man, I'm a male by nature. I'm born a male. How do I have a feminine? Where is this stuff coming from? Who, who, who came up with this? That a guy would have a feminine side that he needs to get in touch with? That is the most... And they'll even talk about that in churches. I've seen, I've seen that when they do marriage counseling, all these that's all they talk about. That's another aspect of the church where they just keep you time and space centered. You know, this is we're going to help you get your marriage on the right track and you know help you deal with your kids. This is the end of the age. And the thing is, how to do that? Get to God, right? Get to Jesus Christ. Let Him impart wisdom, knowledge, and understanding right. to you. Your wife gets to God. He changes her. Your wife gets you, your, your 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 wife and you come together in prayer before God, and then God moves to get to your kids, and that's how it's done. I mean, we're being taught garbage over and over again all day, all night. I mean, all this emotional stuff. Uh, T. D. Jason, he motions. A man getting in touch with his emotions and his feminine side. Crazy. Look, look. I'm I'm talking to a a, a regular guy. And I'm talking to the women that want to be with a regular guy. Some of you women hate an effeminate, emaciated mama's boy. Right. You don't even want to be on the same uh, bus with that guy. You don't want to sit next to that guy in a movie. You don't like him. I'm not talking to these, 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 these feminists who are really actually undercover uh, lesbians cloaking as feminists. Who go with these effeminate guys because they really want a woman. And the woman... It, uh, <coughs> the woman... The woman in him, that effeminate nature, <clears throat> has found somebody compatible to him. 
We're dealing with spiritual force, by the way, right now. They're fighting them. 